So we, we also, you know, we, we send them some 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 information on what the, what the decade of the cargo bike is about and what what the what the whole cycle logistics is about and and, uh, and and I think he did a very good job in, in making this uh, this uh, decade of the cargo bike rat. Oh, yeah. Cities. Built for cars or for humans, you'd like to think the latter, but that feels like an illusion due to the confusion of urban logistics solution. Cargo bikes will fix the cities. Built for cars or for humans, you'd like to think the latter, but that feels like an illusion. Cause the demands of urban logistics are tight. Solution, the cargo bike. The 2020s, decade of the cargo bike. Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Zimmerman and that was Jos Schleuschmans with the International Cargo Bike Festival. And uh, as you may know, if you follow Jos out on Twitter, I am going to be leading a delegation over to the Netherlands for a study tour and to attend that particular uh, cargo bike festival. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's at the end of October and we have more details in this conversation. So stay tuned, it's, it's a good one. Uh, and I do wanna just quickly say that uh, uh, yeah, I've got uh, six or seven people who are already interested in joining me uh, for this excursion to the Netherlands. Uh, so if you are also interested, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. Just uh, drop me a, a line in the comments here or uh, send me an email at john, that's J-O-H-N, at activetowns.org. Oh, and one more thing. I did pick up one more Patreon uh, supporter this past week. So that brings us up to three new uh, patrons in the past two weeks. So uh, thank you so very much and if you too would be interested please don't hesitate to pop on over to the patreon page that's patreon.com slash active towns i'd be honored to have your support and i'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end so let's get right to it with yos I am absolutely delighted to have online with me here in the ECAM studios, uh, Jos, Jos Luschman, or Sleichman. You're going to help me out with the pronunciation of that last name. Sleichmans. Uh, Sleichmans. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the studio. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for uh, for having me here. And I'm uh, I'm delighted as you are to be here. So it's, uh, yeah, it, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, this conversation. Fantastic. Well, we're going to talk a lot about cargo bikes and a little bit about your uh, uh, consulting agency as well, consulting company that you have and some of the, the cycle logistics stuff so that, that you do. But let's just do a really quick, you know, 30 second introduction to, to, to who is Jos. Go ahead. Um, well, yeah, I, I'm Jos. I'm, I'm the owner of uh, Fietsdienste.nl, which is, uh, well, you could translate it as bike services, which is a very broad name for, for everything that I do has to do with cycling bikes and everything like that and and i'm the director of the international cargo bike festival what, what is uh, what i'm mainly working on uh, the, the, since 2012 and um it's a it's an event that i uh, organize annually and uh well of course because of covid it hasn't taken place for for a while but um in in october we will uh, we'll have another cargo bike festival at the, the world of e-mobility in uh, Haarlemmermeer, which is very close to Amsterdam. And I'm looking, really looking forward to it because uh, it has been too long uh, that we haven't been celebrating this. So yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's going to, going to be fun, I'm sure. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to pull up uh, first your the, your website for um, y your your consulting agency, so that people can see that you know this is the the uh, the, the web address uh, for for your consulting mm -hmm. agency and 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 the the type of work that you're doing. Well, actually, why don't you describe a little bit more about the type of work that you're doing through through this organization? Well, actually, this is I I, I have. You know, I, I started with Fitzinspirinternel doing all kinds of things mm -hmm. uh, regarding with cycling, and uh, I had a, a bicycle messengers company, oh, okay. uh, which I did uh, for a while. And you know, from I started in two thousand four. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I also did uh, gave cycling lessons to people that could mm -hmm. cycle, and okay. usually because of physical uh, problems or other things. And actually, that was that was really a lot of fun, you know, yeah, to, yeah. to make possible for people that cannot cycle to cycle. Yeah. Um, and, and from the bike messages 
uh, company I, I also started, um, well, that, that's when I started using cargo bikes. At that time, hardly any bike messengers used cargo bikes. It was ah, mainly, okay. you know, yeah, fixed yeah, yeah. and, and, and single speed bikes with, with uh, backpacks and, and, you know, going fast through the city. Right. Um, but I started with, uh, with um, delivering um, organic food from the farmer's market to fancy restaurants that, you know, that like fresh food to, to have, to serve, to make nice things. Right, right. Um, and then also I started organizing uh, debates, discussions on, you know, how to make cities better uh, right. and less cars, more bikes. That's, that's mainly um, putting yeah. people, in, people in, in the center and not, uh, not the car. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, what I mainly did. And I notice here on the website too that you know you're you're trying to share this you know knowledge you know with others and you do offer uh, you know you know it basically says you know, use the contact form to to reach out if we can help support you in terms of your cycling yeah. cycle logistics things of that nature and then I also notice here on this page that uh, there's like an interest organization that you all are, are pulling together talk a little bit about this because this is just from uh, this past year in 2021. Yeah, well, actually, that uh, that's the, uh, the 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 cargo bike expertise and innovation center, mm -hmm. and actually, it came about because because of COVID, we, we could not do the international cargo bike festival anymore, and right. uh, so we were thinking of other ways to to organize um, so that the manufacturers could expose their products, right, and that people could come to to use the products and and you know experience what what it's like. Uh, it has not. You know, it's it's quite difficult <laughs> to make a change, to make a change like that, just yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you have also you have to keep on doing other things. So, yeah, uh, yeah. but the idea is still very very fresh and and, and very good, I think. And uh, and and there is a, there is a interest uh, from from the industry as well uh, to have right. this. So instead of a cargo bike festival that is for three days at different places, you'll have a a um, establishment a, a, a location. Where you can have a, a permanent exposition of all uh, the developments and all the, the the cargo bikes that are around, right. and also to have people visiting, uh, and then not with you know hundreds of thousand people at one time because that was not possible because of the corona, right? Yeah, uh, the COVID, uh, but uh, but then in groups or whenever you like, right? That, yeah. Uh, and, and, then, and th that leads us nicely into, uh, you know, what we were just talking about, which is the International uh, Cargo Bike um, uh, Festival, which, uh, as you had mentioned, this year, it's in conjunction with the world of e-mobility uh, coming yeah. up at the end of October. Talk a little bit about uh, what's special about this particular year and how this is, is happening and, you know, that partnership with the world of e-mobility. Well, yeah, it's uh, well, it's special because it's taking place again after two years of uh, not taking place. So that's uh, that, that's nothing that's, that's going to happen. And um, well, we already uh, we were contacted by World of Immobility last year because mm -hmm. then it took place already. But that was in a, in a quite a late stage, you know. So we we did some some um, uh, we invited quite some cargo bike manufacturers to be there. Uh, and um, but then just be, the week before uh, World of Immobility would uh, would go, uh, there was a uh, a lockdown, and it could take place still. But of course, there were there were quite few visitors. Right, right. I think in general it was it was it was quite a good uh, fair actually. I, there were still like sixty something uh, um, uh, exhibitors. Okay. Uh, but then from the whole range, from cargo bikes, but also e-bikes, um, e-trucks, uh, all kind of e-mobility devices, let's say. Right. And, and well, and for us, I, I think it's a, it's a good idea to to put that together. To um, the, you know, I've since 2012 we have been organizing the cargo bike festival, and mm -hmm. it's 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 really a niche within the niche. <laughs> you right. Could say, right. Yeah. 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 And I think it well the idea is to bring it you know more in a, in, a, in a broader space of, of sustainable mobility right and um, so we'll see whether that's going to work and I, I think you already see in, in many cities that it that is that it is working that, that there are lots of uh, things going on yeah and yeah. Uh, oh, it's good that you that you that you do this because here you also see that what we had at, at the cargo bike festival for all these years were mainly, 
cargo bike, the right. cargo bike manufacturers. And what we see now at the at the, at, at this coming uh, edition, that more um, um, components uh, specialists are are getting interested. So Got you it. get you get people that make uh, cargo bike wheels. Right. Uh, the other the other week, I had a conversation with Michelin, for instance. So we, we, they are working on on specific cargo bike wheels. Right. And and there are some small producers that 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 really specialize on wheels. Yeah. Or like you, you also showed the, the the chain drive of uh, of of the new Motion Labs. Mm -hmm. You know, they they developed a specific. Uh, uh, new kind of chain for for cargo bikes. Oh wow! Okay. And, uh, yeah, and and I think that that that's very interesting because that also shows that the industry is you know is becoming more mature actually. Right. It's not, it, and it and it's going from 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 the cycling industry, the bike industry, to more more specialized things. Also, s more like a a automotive yeah, uh, yeah. side. There are there are car companies now that are really getting interested in cargo bikes. Yeah, and um, that that's um, that is exciting. I don't we, we don't know what what's really going to happen with that, yeah. but it's exciting that so many new groups are are getting uh, 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 interested in cargo bikes as well. Yeah, well, and I just it it had dawned on me this morning um, when I was you know prepping for for this conversation with you that this is you know 2012, so this is your decade. 10 year anniversary of the yeah yeah the, actually it is yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you could say that yeah yeah, yeah. i mean it did uh, obviously yeah yeah excuse me i was gonna say it, it, it had to get canceled um you know you haven't been able to have yeah. the full yeah. blown so, festival for yeah. two years but at the same time hey this is 10 years since uh, that very first it's one in, in 2012 yeah. one, congratulations yeah. thank you <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's always, you know, there are so, uh, I've always think about the, the first two years, it was, it was not called the International Cargo Bike Festival. It mm -hmm. was called Bakhtitstreffen, the, the gathering of cargo bikes in Dutch. And, and so w at what time do you have to start counting of having the Cargo Bike Festival? <laughs> so, and, and now, now we, we skip two years. It's also, you know, is it, uh, is it still real 10 years or do you have to it do is, start is. recounting or? <laughs> nah, but, nah, uh, nah. Not at all. Not at all. We're, <laughs> we're, we're rolling with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter that much, but it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's 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 fun, and actually, you know, when you when you see these ten years, a lot a lot of things have changed, and that that's oh, yeah. that's really good. Yeah, I think it's uh, for me. It's, things are going too slow, but then when you look back, you see that you know a lot of things have happened, and 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 every year, I think it's accelerating even more. Right. So right. That, that's good. Yeah. So when you look back, you just mentioned that, you know, in some ways it's kind of uh, you know, going a little bit too slow, but in other ways, you know, it, 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 things are, are happening and moving. When you go back to that very first uh, gathering and, you know, making that transition from, uh, you know, be, being like a, a mess, you know, a carrier and, 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 and delivering packages and, and starting to use the cargo bike, you know, Looking back on that time, because that's even further than in, than a decade, um, what are some of the things that that bubble up and come to mind about you know that that experience and, and where we've come with with cargo bikes? Um, well, the main thing is that you know now all com all companies that are working in delivery or uh, lots of companies that are working in transport and deliveries they 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 know about cargo bikes, right? And, and it's not alone, only the small, you know, the bike messengers that started. And I cannot say small anymore because the biggest uh, bike messenger company in the Netherlands uh, has, has over 1,000 uh, employees. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and, and then they are, uh, you know, it, it, it's, they're making millions turnover a year. So it's, it, mm -hmm. it's really – and also they are um, – uh, there are all kind of mergers of, of big companies that, that make use of these cargo bike uh, of, of these bike messengers and right. uh, but also the big companies like uh, well in the Netherlands the the, the main um, uh, post and packages company is Post and L and and, and right. they are already last four or five years they are experimenting a lot with uh, with with cargo bikes as well mm -hmm. yeah uh, DHL yeah is a very good example they already. Uh, 
um, well, actually, they, 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 they and, and I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. And in 2014, uh, they, DHL and, and, and Velov, the Swedish um, uh, cargo bike manufacturer of Velov and uh, Flevobike, a Dutch engineering company, they met at the Cargo Bike Festival. This is oh, the wonderful. bridge uh, yeah. at the Cargo Bike Festival. And they, they came together and they, uh, of course, they already had the ideas about, you know, how to handle uh, city logistics. Uh, but but their uh, cooperation uh, ca- made this made this possible, you know, this yeah. this four wheel uh, uh, cargo bike with the, with the containers, and I think this concept of containerization using containers in, in city logistics that that's really interesting. And uh, although you know this this is since 2014 2015, it's uh, it's still more of a concept and it's really working. But mm-hmm. but. It, it can happen every day now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it that way. Yeah. And yeah. and and this is uh, this is kind of the same uh, um, and um, Velo Armadillo uh, a cargo bike yeah. with a different box. Right. Right. And if you look carefully when you zoom in on the box, you can see that it's powered by your slice mounts. I don't know if you <laughs> saw it, but, but I, <laughs> I participated says, huh? in, in getting this oh, uh, this bike. Look at uh, that. <laughs> it does say that. Yeah. So it's uh, it's funny that you picked out that picture of all the pictures that I sent you, but it's uh, that's uh, that's pretty yeah, good. It's, 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 yeah, it's pretty good. And and this cycle spark, you know. You, yeah, I don't know if you have this. This uh, also this picture of uh, he he made containers that are twice twice as big as uh, as this one. Okay, and and that's also a very interesting uh, development that that you yeah. use cargo bikes just like you know delivery vans and also right. in the volume, yeah. but then with a very lower uh, energy use than uh, than than an electric van would uh, would use. Yeah, yeah. They did. They did um, um, research with uh, with these uh, cargo bikes, these Velo Velo uh, cargo bikes, mm-hmm. and a, uh, a Nissan electric uh, van. Yeah, yeah. And the cargo bike, they did the same routes, and they did uh, the the same amount of packages that they delivered. And uh, the cargo bike used only six percent of the energy that that the that the e car used. The e car used. The yeah. Same yeah. Route. And that's that's really. Uh, that, I think that that's really something that more people should should think about what it means. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when when we when we get this electrification uh, much much larger uh, yeah. volumes. And I think you know, and that's such a good point. Is that especially for our urban environments where um, you know trying to jam into an urban environment a big delivery van just really doesn't make sense. They don't really fit. And being able to have an efficient and a a time efficient, you know, way of delivering packages large and small, um, it's it's very empowering, I think, for a city. And because you're not trying to jam in large, you know, trucks, mm-hmm. delivery vans and trucks. And it, it I, th- I think that it just makes a huge amount of sense. And um, I, I can't wait to see more cities around the globe start to think about this in terms of it's not that difficult to set up a logistics system, um, you know, of bringing the the big van to a nearby location and then transferring mm. packages, to, you know, strategically to, uh, you know, the these smaller, more nimble devices mm. that uh, you know that can use some of the uh, the cycling infrastructure that's in place. Now, being as I say that, I realize that much of the cycling network infrastructure uh, may need some fine tuning because it may need to be wider if you're starting to put, <laughs> you know, even more pressure yeah, on cycling yeah. infrastructure. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that's actually what's what's happening now here in the Netherlands a lot. Uh, the, yeah. the discussion on, on uh, well, the, the, the increase of, uh, of cargo bikes and also all the different kind of, of, of electric uh, uh, vehicles that now use the 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 cycle path yeah yeah um yeah. and and the thing is you can you can widen the cycle path but but i'm more uh, in 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 uh, in favor of uh, using using the roads for uh, so bringing back bringing down the maximum speed at the roads and then use the roads because you know cargo bikes are replacing vans so you should also replace 
the use of the space that they create on the yeah. road. And and but that's 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 a discussion. And and in, in the Netherlands we have now uh, the parliament. Um, uh, they uh, they uh, uh, they said that uh, thirty kilometers, so it's right. about twenty miles an hour, will be uh, default in in cities. I mean that that will yeah. be the standard uh, speed, and 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 uh, it, it has some you know adjustments uh, that have to be be made. But uh, when that happens, then then it, it will be much easier to have all these kind of new electric vehicles uh, on the road, and then yeah. keep the cycle path for people that really. You know, need the cycle path, need the safety of, of being separated from from uh, from bigger uh, um, uh, vehicles. Yeah, That's and an also I point. think you know, yeah, I was just going to say it's an excellent point because uh, just last week or the week before, I think it was the um, the government put out a report that looked at the serious injuries and fatality levels um, on the streets that had fifty kilometer per hour, um, you know, speeds, and it's just like, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to you know move away from these fifty kilometer per hour streets that are in our urban environments. They're not conducive to the environment that we want. And they are clearly, as the statistics are showing, they're dangerous, more dangerous than they than is mm -hmm. acceptable. Oh, and so you're seeing that. And, I, and one of the things that I wanted to, to really point out is that um, when we think of cargo bikes, uh, it's it's not just about you know, delivering packages or, you know, maybe it is, maybe they're cute, cuddly packages. No, too. no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and so, you know, when we're talking about, you know, the, the revolution that's taking place with regards to, um, you know, cargo bikes. Yeah. There's huge opportunities for, for deliveries and logistics and from a commercial standpoint, but also just it's exploding in terms of the number of families that are, yeah, are, are yeah, turning to uh, this. Yeah. And, yeah. and, I, and, the, well, and, and this uh, is, this is the fun factor, you know, it's just a cute, cute photo. Um, and I'll pull up a, you know, a, a couple of other examples, but I, I'll pause here and just, I want to get your, your thoughts on this because you've been over the past, you know, 12, 15 years, very much in your in your headspace of thinking about this and you've probably seen some very interesting transformations with regards to the cargo bike and families well yeah the uh, the um, by the way this is this is one family this mm -hmm. is the mother of all five children and she's pregnant of number six so that's uh, that's really <laughs> amazing and uh, and it's actually one of uh, a bike that i uh, sold to them when at that time oh, yeah. i uh, uh, it's it's a Yuba uh, Mundo, and uh, the, in in the Netherlands, you there were very few, you know, like 15 years ago, very few long tail uh, bikes. There, right, right. we wouldn't even call it a cargo bike. For us, a cargo bike is is yeah. you know with with a box and and things. But yeah, yeah. But but actually now you see there are more different kind of of long tail bikes, and then you see them. And the funny thing is that actually you know in the Netherlands, uh, the the use by family of cargo bikes is is from the 90s of the past century right and right. actually i i thought of of organizing the cargo bike festival because i saw all these uh, families using cargo bikes but i right. thought there is also a commercial use of cargo bikes right. so it's 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 a kind of an, a, the other way around but what we see in in other countries like in in germany and also now in the united states and uk is that there is this commercial use of cargo bikes, and now they are are changing or they are promoting the use by by families of uh, of, of different kind of cargo bikes. Yeah, and yeah. and that that's really very interesting. Yeah. And it's and it's actually you know, it's it's uh, it's so logical to to use a cargo bike in the city yeah. at, uh, in, in the use of space of space, and and also in, because of fun. I mean, when you when you see kids riding in a cargo bike they, they're yeah. all always smiling or singing or waving or whatever you know it's always uh, fun or they are sleeping but yeah you know yeah. in general it's it's fun and it's uh, and 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 they're more aware of the, of the surroundings and everything and then that's that's it's, it's 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 so much better yeah yeah and i pulled up this uh, particular shot because this is a neat um, uh, scheme this is a, a 
a, a cargo yeah. bike sharing uh, type of scheme or rental, you know, uh, organization. And this is a, a beautiful urban arrow um, that, you know, is, is available here. And, mm-hmm. and I can tell you that, you know, you're absolutely right. Every time I see kids, you know, riding in the front of, uh, of these uh, urban arrows and other Bach feats that are out there, some of the more traditional ones, um, you know, they're just, they're beaming, they're having fun. And, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, talk, talk a little bit about this this idea because these are, are rather expensive, and so maybe every maybe, maybe you don't have one in your fleet, but maybe if you you need one, uh, you have an opportunity. How, how does this particular system work? Well, this is uh, um, it's, uh, it's it's actually in my my hometown in Nijmegen, and okay. they they started with a European uh, project. It's called uh, E Hubs. So electric hubs, and it, they, 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 they were part of you know e-cars, e-bikes, e-cargo bikes, and e-scooters that people could uh, could rent. I think there were ten of them in in, in Nijmegen at the first time. But then Cargaru, they they also have you know they, they do other kinds of pilots, and and their idea is more that uh, in, in in the neighborhood you should have a a e-cargo bike at your uh, disposal within. 200 300 meters from your home uh-huh, and yeah. uh, so they they also set out in in several uh, neighborhoods uh, lots of cargo bikes and also that means when when you go to your nearest uh, point you you see this little circle on the yeah yeah uh, but you know when it's uh, when it's not there anymore you know that in 200 meters or 300 meters there will be another one uh-huh, and uh, yeah well, of course, you have an app, an, an app. You can already see that it's happening. Yeah. But there, there's always, uh, um, you know, more more op- more possibilities to to rent a a cargo bike. Yeah, and um, it seems to be working pretty good. I mean, th- they are in the streets a lot, but when when the statistically they they are used quite a, quite a bit. Right. And, uh, and, and and of course it's uh, they 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 are quite expensive. So when you don't want to buy or you don't have a place to to uh, to park them at, at your at your house or in, mm-hmm. in front of your house or wherever, then this of course is a very good uh, way of uh, using them. Yeah. I don't know if you saw uh, the the interview that uh, that Chris and Tara did of uh, Propel, but they they yeah. rode a Kangaroo at uh, um, in Nijmegen when they were over. So that was uh, that was uh, pretty fun. Yeah, I, I, I got a chuckle out of that. And of course, I pr- profiled uh, uh, Chris with Propel uh, a couple of episodes ago. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We, we laughed a little bit about, uh, you know, when he when he fell. Yeah, I guess really, they hit some leaves but, or something and went down. <laughs> so. they, they just, you know, wrote, yeah. she wrote uh, <laughs> at, 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 um, in the off the cycle path. And, yeah, yeah, but the yeah, fun yeah. thing was, you know, that, that they fell, but nobody got hurt. I exactly. mean, you are yeah. so close to, to the, the speed is not high and you're close to the ground. So, yes. I mean, it doesn't matter actually. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, of course you don't want to fall, but, but it was no biggie. So that's uh, exactly. Yeah. And that brings us, you know, back to the conversation we were having earlier about the the you know necessity for bringing speeds down in in our cities. It's when when you're traveling closer to human speed, you know, you can you can have little mishaps and things happening, and and mm-hmm. they're not and they're not that that serious of, of, of you know problems and issues that t- that come up. So. Um, one of the things that I, I thought would be fun was to, to just give the audience a, a little taste of, of what it's like, uh, you know, to, to experience the, you know, the cargo festival. And I, I thought what I do is, is, is play one of your, um, your, your videos that, uh, that, that is out there that, you know, kind of, uh, highlights the, you know, the, the, the festival and, uh, um, the one that I'm thinking that would be really fun to, to, to play here real quick is, uh, you actually have, uh, you know, a, a little piece, um, out on your YouTube channel. And, uh, I believe it's from the 2019 uh, video. So that's, let's, that's from, uh, yeah, from nine, 20, 2019 was in Honingen. Yes. Yeah. It's in Honingen, which by the way, I, I love Honingen. Um, I had a chance to be there, yeah. visit there in, uh, yeah, gosh, when was that? It must've been in 
2015. Um, okay. And I know it, it continues to get better as a city. You know, yeah, yeah, it's, it's changing a lot. You know, it's well. Actually, they 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 contacted me in in, in I think 2016, 2017 already to have yeah. the cargo bike festival there. Mainly also to, to give it a boost, to give the, the car oh, the yeah. use of cargo bikes a boost, and then uh, and I think it. Uh, it works that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I, I, I'm going to turn. Yeah, I'm going I'm to play this. I'm going to keep the volume down. Um, and what, as this sort of uh, you know, you know, plays, why don't you just give us a little bit of commentary in terms of sort of what happens during uh, the the festival typically? Because um, I know it's 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 part conference, part festival, yeah, yeah. part you know uh, exhibit. Um, why, why don't you give the audience a little bit of an idea as to what to expect if they uh, decide to to come to the, yeah, the yeah. festival? Well, you know, we, we, we it, it's already the name. The festival says that it's not, you know, it's not just a fair or it's not a conference. It's it's it's, it's really something. Also, for instance, the food and drinks is something that's very important. You mm-hmm. know, to have good to to to, to, to enjoy good food and, and drinks. Usually, it's it's vegetarian and 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 well, you know, organic food and and that that's part of of of, of the whole idea. Right. And. Um, well, then, of course, it's uh, uh, the, the experience, the cargo bike. It, right. It's really an experience. You know, you can ride the bikes. You can r- ride a lot of different bikes. And that's, uh, that's really what makes, it, uh, what makes it special. And, um, yeah, usually we start with a conference. So we have international speakers that, that, that are, you know, they, are, uh, they know about what they are talking about in the field that, uh, that they are. Yeah. Um, workshops uh all kind of things that um yeah you can do yeah yeah uh, it, it looked like really i saw our, our going on, there on, too. on the, <laughs> i'm sorry go ahead me? i was gonna say it looked like somebody was having fun like on a little race cargo bike race yeah 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 well there is a special cargo bike race this is this is also available it's um yeah, yeah. and this one is on uh, on uh, on uh, hydrogen oh wow okay they, they explain about that uh, yeah. a lot and uh, well, it goes very fast now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That fast. But um, but in general, it, so in do, is it open to the general public? Do do people who are just kind of maybe curious, bike curious, cargo bike curious, show up, yeah. or is it mostly industry folks? Uh, well, the conference is, is mostly uh, professionals, so that's okay. the the industry folks, but also the the, the bike messengers and 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 and. and uh, People from from municipalities and from from provinces or countries that want to uh, uh, know more about how they can you know how they can make their cities better. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, well, it's Melissa. They they did a lot of uh, in 2019. They did also a lot of uh, nice photographs and and, and 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 blogs about it. So that that uh, that was really nice. Yeah, this is a cheese race. <laughs> it's important, <laughs> With, you know. Uh, Daniel Pardo from from Colombia. He, he also visited the cargo bike festival in, in I think in 2016 or 17, and 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 he's he's building cargo bikes in in Bogota in, in Colombia. Uh-huh. Well, so that brings and, up a really good question for you. Uh, you mentioned Bogota and Colombia. So, are people coming in for the international f- uh, f- uh, cargo bike festival from around the world? Yeah, yeah, sure. We had in Groningen there were people from uh, from 40 different countries. Wow. We had exhibitors from, uh, well, I also mentioned Colombia, but from Hong Kong, from Taiwan, yeah. from, from all over Europe, um, Ecuador, uh, Canada, United States, uh, Australia. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, from all continents except for Antarctica. Uh, wow. They don't, yeah, they yeah. don't have cargo bikes there, but... Uh, Fantastic. No, it's, that, that's really amazing, you know. It's, it's, yeah. it's still quite bizarre as well, you know, for the cargo bike. I mean, it's, it's a humble cargo bike and then right, people right. come from all over the world that that's really nice yeah yeah, yeah. and um, and one of the good things I, I remember when when we had the the first years of the cargo bike festival it was really um, um amazing that uh, for instance people f- from hungary that that were working with you know they were the only one with a cargo bike and working with a cargo bike in budapest and then they came at the cargo bike festival and they suddenly saw that many crazy people that are interested about cargo bikes and they were really happy and and they 
they suddenly un- understood that they were not the crazy guy, you know, in the city. <laughs> but there were a lot of crazy guys around, and that uh, and and girls, right? And that's uh, that. That's really um, the inspiration. That that that's really one of the things that's very important. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we're doing. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny, and um, I, I I also want to uh, play something fun here too. I want to play one of your uh, your songs as an introduction to this before we hit play. Um, why don't you go ahead and and tell us a little bit about this particular uh, cargo bike rap and uh, and who the artist is? Well, actually, it came. Um, um there is there is this uh, musician uh, Baba Brinkman. Mm-hmm. He uh, he's a rapper and he's actually he's a scientific rapper. He 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 raps with conferences and 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 uh, and, and you know as as a, as a summary of what is happening in a day at a conference, he, he makes a rap song. And, uh, and yeah. so in, in when when Corona came around, there were no conferences live anymore. So he also thought of something else, the event rap. So he he went to online meetings and did the same thing but he did not he didn't do that alone he 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 had some uh, rapping friends yeah yeah <laughs> you know artists that all, were all around and then and, and so they, they 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 did it together and you can to to as a, as a way of a crowdfunding more or less and mm-hmm. to make uh, it public they 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 put out a um, so you know i i made use of the opportunity to do it at a, at a, at a, at a for me, an uh, acceptable rate, yeah. And as and and abdominal, he uh, he already did some things with cycling. He was a uh, he liked cycling a lot. Okay. And uh, so I was very happy that he uh, he was going to do that. And the coincidence was that he is uh, um, he lives in uh, Toronto. Oh, okay. And yeah. so he also asked me. Oh, I'm in Toronto, and I want. I also want to make some kind of a video because that is that's nicer. And then, uh, and uh, I, I know this <laughs> some people in Toronto uh, who are uh, into cargo bikes as well. Uh, yeah. Donnell Harris, and and uh, and and so you know we just arranged something that I could do that with uh, with the, the, the delivery company over there uh, nearby. They they had. That's right. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's a it's a Dutch it's a Dutch cargo bike, but they. Um, and and so that, that's how things uh, work and happen. And uh, so we, we also you know we, we send them some 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 information on what the, what the decade of the cargo bike is about and what what the, what the whole cycle logistics is about. And and, uh, and and I think he did a very good job in, in making this uh, this uh, decade of the car- cargo bike rap. Yeah, right. So, let's play. Yeah, let's, let's we, check it out. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's a lot of fun. Nice. And a nice video as well. Yeah. Cities Built for cars or for humans, you'd like to think the latter, but that feels like an illusion due to the confusion of urban logistics solution. Cargo bikes will fix the cities. Built for cars or for humans, you'd like to think the latter, but that feels like an illusion. Cause the demands of urban logistics are tight. Solution, the cargo bike. The 2020s decade of the cargo bike compared to vehicles like vans and cars so light and nimble weaving through that downtown traffic delivering your goods over that last mile faster for multiple reasons they can use bike lanes take shortcuts and park easier plus closer to the final destination compared to van drivers who according to the data walk a third of the way of their average total distance so not only do they pollute they're inefficient and in the business of shipping efficiency is key Precisely why cargo bikes have been enlisted to fleets Of companies as diverse as FedEx, Amazon, UPS, plus Hermes No wonder then this cargo bike soliloquy Plus an ultra low emission form of mobility Hmm, do I sense some confusion? That simply means they're helping reduce an air pollution Consuming 94% less energy than an EVAN For the same delivery, listen to me Cargo bikes are no-brainer, especially when combined with universal containers to form centralized urban shipping hubs. Preconceived notions of city traffic rip them up, and let's reclaim the streets for humans. The solution? Cargo bike revolution. Cities built for cars or for humans, you'd like to think the latter, but that feels like an illusion. Due to the confusion of urban logistics solution, cargo bikes will fix the cities. 
Built for cars or for humans You'd like to think the latter But that feels like an illusion Cause the demands of urban logistics are tight Solution, the cargo bike Love it, love it, love it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the whole story actually It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. Fun. And, and, and okay. for the audience, uh, we'll be sure to have the link to that particular video in the show notes and video description. Mm. Uh, you you got to check it out. Please, please share it. It deserves more watches for sure. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's and, good. and also more uh, followers in, in yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. psychologistics, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So and, and speak to that a little bit in terms of of how important that is to create um, awareness outside of our bubble, because we get sort of insular within the bubble mm -hmm. of cycling and cycle, you know, cargo bikes and, and being able to, to put something together that maybe resonates, you know, within the general populace. How important is that from your perspective when it comes to cargo bikes? Well, you know, we, 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 we have ideas about what, what what we can do and and how right. we can use it and how we are using it, but but already now you see that when when people from different uh, backgrounds and from different uh, um, experience uh, enter the, the world of cargo bikes, you know, like I mentioned before, the car industry is getting interested in in in, in, in cargo yeah. bikes as well. Yeah. I'm I'm very sure that that we will see developments that we haven't thought of. Uh, that we haven't thought of before because right but but also and and especially from more you know from the uh, more artistic uh, ways you know like like uh, singers and and i always hope you know that people start making animations about cargo bikes and and games about you know with 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 cargo bikes for instance the game industry could be very you know could make very nice games in in doing you know, logistics in cities and 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 using cargo bikes uh, with that and uh, and whatever you know, and there are a lot of uh, things, other ways of uh, expressing the, the 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 possibilities and and the, the use of uh, of cargo bikes. So that will be uh, important. You know, yeah. to, to give you an example, what 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 was what was really what was happening like, um, let's say, you know, five six years ago when um, we have these pizza couriers. They, yeah, they yeah. here and here in, in in Europe they they are all riding uh, mopeds, you know, uh, yeah, pinky yeah. loud mopeds, but but suddenly they started using e bikes, and most people thought nobody no no pizza courier is going to ride an e bike, but um, uh, but suddenly it, it worked out perfectly because. Well, you know, one of the reasons is because for the for the pizza parlors, the, the, the economically it's it's uh, you know a, a kid on a bike. You you can have younger employees on a bike than on a moped. Right. I don't right. know if that's if that's a good motivation, but but it, but but that's yeah. the way how it works. Yeah. Uh, but also, usually bikes are are cheaper and it's uh, it's more friendly. You know, the the image of the of the, of the company works better and it's. Uh, so that that that's that's something that we hadn't thought of some years before, and now it's really exploding. Um, and another thing is, for instance, the the the, the service logistics um, that uh, mainly you know in the beginning all cargo bikes were used for for uh, deliveries of packages. Right. But now you see a lot of, uh, and and we worked on that a, a lot as well. You know, with research and with with showing that it's possible. Uh, but a lot of surface technicians, um, plumbers, um, all kind of of, uh, um, um, of 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 working people that that are using cargo bikes to do this, and that's uh, yeah. uh, that, that that's a really interesting uh, development, I think. Yeah. Well, this is another one. This is probably 2016 or something like that. Yeah. So this is back in Nijmegen, and uh, yeah, this is in Nijmegen. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and to your point, you know, you, there's all these different uh, types of, of cargo bikes and different configurations. And mm -hmm. you were just Trailer mentioning, also. you know, trades, you know, using them as well. Um, and what I love about, you know, this and, and, and actually, uh, you know, for folks who are looking at this and seeing this green bike, explain that uh, that that green uh, 
a cargo bike. <laughs> well, that's 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 a uh, multi-use bike. Let's say it's 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 like like a bicycle bus, exactly. and uh, it's used in Nijmegen. Uh, well, as as a as a, as a uh, replacement of, uh, of of vans because yeah. it's it's um, it's not for a school run, but it's for the the after school activities. Got it. This, yeah. this, uh, this um, organization, this company. Uh, provides after-school activities in nature, so they they right. they with these with these bikes they take the kids into the surroundings of Nijmegen, which are very natural surroundings. We have yeah. we have polders, we have uh, woods and, and and everything, and uh, so that's where they take them and just just to play, you know, to play in uh, with uh, in the trees and in the, in the <laughs> everything, yeah, learn right. about nature, learn about the animals, learn about flowers and birds and everything. And, and they 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 really were looking for a sustainable way of, of transport, and this is what they actually they they de- developed this together with the, with the engineering company and with the producer. Right, they developed right. this this bus, and uh, twelve kids can uh, can be together on that uh, on that bike, yeah. and and they are pedaling. I mean, they also working together to get things uh, exactly. done, and and, yeah. and that that that's also very and. And here also you see, you know, they love it. They, they are usually they are singing or smiling or yeah, just yeah. chatting with each other. And uh, and of course there is there is also a motor on it because although the Netherlands is flat, the, in Nijmegen there are some some hilly hilly uh, hilly, hilly parts as well. Right. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean it's um, it's actually it's it's amazing. It's so um, basic. It's yeah. it's uh, so f- much fun and it's. It's clean. It's uh, uh, there are more places now that they are using them, but um, I think they have twelve or fourteen of those big bikes in in Nijmegen, yeah. and they they transport like between seven hundred and eight hundred kids a week. Yeah, yeah. With their activity, so when you imagine what what that would mean if 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 the parents would take them or separately on a bike, but usually those kind of parents would take them by car or by SUV and what that means that it's that that's really um, yeah I, I think uh, the authorities should uh, appreciate that more that that people right. are doing these things to uh, to to make it uh, a better city and uh, and um, yeah they have to they have to take care of that yeah, and what I really loved also about that uh, that little video clip uh, there, and that was a video clip from Bicycle Dutch, uh, Mark. Uh, thank you very much, Mark, for uh, allowing us to, yeah. to, to show that, um, is just the variety of different types of cargo bikes. Really, it's yeah, that, that's Yeah, yeah that, that's really, and, and it's it's growing every day, you know. We, I, I, I got a lot of... A lot of people are are uh, um, developing new uh, new kinds of uh, of cargo bikes, um, front loaders, back loaders, in between loaders, uh, both front and back loaders, or uh, two wheel, three wheel, four wheel, six wheels. You know, everything is happening. Uh, yeah. Bike trailers, yeah. and um, well, yeah, this is uh, this is our king, William yeah. Alexander, who visited Nijmegen uh, in 2018 when it was uh, green capital. And of course, he was also uh, invited to use uh, the green uh, mobility <laughs> product yeah. with the kids. Yeah. And it was really funny because, you know, kids, they, I, I mean, they know it's the king, but they are really right. very open and they just talked to it with him. And uh, it, was, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and it is. I, I I've seen these in action uh, there in the Netherlands, and it's just the kids are always beaming. You know, they're they're pedaling, they're mm-hmm. participating in it, they're getting fresh air. Uh, there's you know a sense of excitement that they're either going to something really cool to experience, you know, in the park, in the wilderness, etc., or they're beaming because they're coming back from it, and they're just yeah. super stoked <laughs> about it. So it, it's it, it's a lot of fun. So yeah. one so, of one of the funniest things i think from that is that i heard you know that that the kids say that it's uh, that it that it's never raining when they are at the, at stein at, at this company you know they are they're having so much fun even when it's raining they say it's not raining because yeah. they are out there and they are are enjoying it so that's <laughs> exactly it's really good 
<laughs> so I'm I'm going to poke fun at you a little bit here and um and and and, and play this little video that you sent my way of the, that you produced uh in you know, that's basically all your crazy bikes that you have. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good video. Why I didn't produce it, it was uh, Jasper uh, van Impelen who produced it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you just started, was, uh, you and your bikes. Yeah, 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 well, we, we, we thought of something. Well, you know, also a, a funny way to show that there are more different kind of bikes, you know, that it's not the regular bikes that you see in the streets and in the bike right. racks, but yeah. there are different kind of bikes and, uh, yeah. yeah. So here, here you are, and uh, so is this uh, is this a storage unit, or is this where you is this your home where you have all your bikes stored? No, this was uh, this was a former uh, place where we uh, we had our uh, office and and uh, storage and where we worked from <laughs> uh, with uh, <laughs> yeah with uh, uh, Busy Bike, another uh, yeah. bike company, and and um, nice. Uh, Teun Timmermans, who build uh, nice bikes. Yeah, yeah, and after that, we went to the, the Honig Complex, which is an old factory where we had. We had been five years here in this. Uh, okay. And um, and then we <laughs> had five years, another one. And now I'm, I'm in a different place. Uh, and you're, again. Now you're in a different place now, too. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's, it, uh, for the love of the bicycle. <laughs> for the love of the bicycle, really. Yeah, yeah. And when you notice, I, you know, when I see this video, I, I always notice that a lot of the, the, the tires are not really full. But that's because, you know, we, yeah. we were not planning this. It was just, oh, let's make a video. And we just right. took the bikes. And some of these bikes had oh, been... Oh, yeah, that one though was know, flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, so that's... Uh, uh, but that's something that you see afterwards. And you don't want right, to, right. you know, you don't want to lose time and putting all everything. And we, yeah. we just did this. And it's... Uh, yeah. And... Uh, that's, I love yeah, I it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man. Uh, so, I, Jos, uh, you know, we're coming up to, to the end here. Is there anything that we haven't yet talked about that you really want to leave the audience with? Hmm, I hadn't thought we were at the end already because, you know, it's a lot of fun and it's... Um, there's a lot to tell, so uh, uh, we can, well, we can you know, go I, I think forever and ever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we we we'll covered quite a bit, but yeah. uh, but I think you know it would be nice if, if a lot of people would uh, would come to the Cargo Bike Festival, of course, because okay. when you when you see it, when you experience it, when you when you meet the other people, you know that that's very important. Also, with there are right. with a lot of there are a lot of enthusiastic people and inspirational people and uh, with good ideas and. Uh, so when you can share your uh, your thoughts and your ideas about uh, what 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 is possible, then uh, then things uh, are uh, will will be happening, and that's um, yeah. So you're all invited to um, come the 27th to the 29th of October to uh, to uh, the Cargo Bike Festival at the World of E Mobility. Well, you know, and I, I'm actually considering. I'm, I'm considering uh, oh, leading. That would be great. Leading, that would be great. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm considering leading oh, a delegation that. there. So, if if I were to bring a delegation there, what is the cost to an individual just to attend? Uh, well, it, it, it doesn't cost a lot. You know, when uh, it, it's mainly financed by the exhibitors, right? The 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 the, the commercial parties. And visitors pay um, when you are a professional visitor. So you use, when you also want to 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 participate at a conference mm-hmm. and 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 the, the seminars that are taking place, uh, then it's um, I think it's twenty two fifty euros. Okay, euros. Yeah, that's and very when, affordable. When when you just as a vi- that yeah that's uh, uh, I mean there is nothing included like lunches and dinners and mm-hmm. things like that. I mean that's that's separate of course. Yeah, but. Uh, and as a visitor, you know, a consumer visitor, it's uh, I think it's 1950 something like that. So right. it's it's not not a huge thing, and it's uh, very close to the to the Schiphol airport and train station, mm-hmm. and there are very good bus lines. Of course, there are cycle paths that way, and uh, it's uh, it's very accessible. It's uh, it's a nice place, and uh, yeah, and you can you can see the cargo bikes, you can use the cargo bikes, and and everything else. So that'll uh, I will, that would be really great if you could uh, come uh, come to the Netherlands in uh, in October. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and bring your and uh, you you bring then your camera. Maybe you can do some you know you can do some interviews there as well. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm seriously considering it. So this is, you know, again, uh, an official uh, uh, notification uh, to the audience. Uh, if y'all are interested, um, I am seriously looking at leading a delegation to uh, to the International Cargo Bike uh, Festival. Um, mm-hmm. In addition to either the week prior to that or the week after. Uh, doing some study tour activities, meeting some folks uh, in Amsterdam, Utrecht, and and also in Delft. Yeah, I mean, there is... So, uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, we haven't talked about the Dutch Cycling Embassy, but yep. you yep. Know, this is something that we... Uh, we I don't know, are, are you in contact with the Dutch Cycling oh, Embassy? Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. So, uh, you know, we can arrange visits at, at several factories and, and yep. cities and everything. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's something I would like to talk about a little bit more about the Dutch Cycling Embassy, but maybe we should do that another time then. Well, we should invite. We, maybe we, should invite. Yeah, we we've had uh, um, uh, Chris Bruntlett oh, on Chris, twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twi- yeah. yeah Chris, Chris has been on the uh, on the podcast twice. Um, we need to have him back on. Um, maybe he and Melissa will will join us, and yeah, all yeah. of that. Yes. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're you're welcome to add any additional uh, information about the Dutch Cycling Embassy and that partnership that uh, y'all have with the the Cargo Bike Festival. No, well, well, you know, it's it's just. You know, I mean, when, when yeah, I, I just forgot about it. But 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 Chris is definitely <laughs> more more appropriate to talk about the Dutch Cycling Embassy than I am. But I'm 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 involved with the Dutch Cycling Embassy since since it started actually. Yeah, and it um, yeah, it's it's, it's just very good that uh, for all the questions that we get as as right. as Dutch people are <laughs> working with bikes. Yeah. Uh, to 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 you know to bring the the, the questions and, and and the answers together so that that's uh, that's very important and it it had been also very important for nationally because uh, as you know and I'm, I'm sure Chris has <laughs> explained it a lot that for us for the Dutch it was so it's so normal to do the things by bike that we don't right. even think about it as as uh, you know as I say the fish doesn't think about the water that it's in that's yeah. that's that's what and now, now people are getting more conscious about the the special things that uh, that comes about when when you use car- bikes uh, that much in, in in everyday life. Yeah. And uh, and I think that's still very important because also in the Netherlands there are still, you know, the the, the car industry is still very powerful and people are really addicted to these cars and you have to keep on keeping in mind that it's uh, important to uh, to. Uh, to keep on cycling and to keep on moving by uh, by using your own body as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, yeah. Very, very well said. And I'll pull the graphic back up here for the audience. Again, the International Cargo Bike Festival is going to be uh, coming up here in the uh, in the October time frame. And again, it's going to be on the 27th through the 29th of October October. in conjunction with the the world of e-mobility. And um, it uh, it looks like a fantastic um, uh, event. I looked at the uh, the coordination of all the different uh, things that are on the agenda. Super super cool. So uh, again, if you're interested yeah. in being a part of that delegation that that uh, I'm looking to lead on behalf of Active Towns, uh, you reach out to me. It'd be pretty yeah. fun. I can, I can, I've already I can got about you. two or three people who so who are interested. Okay. So it's okay. just a matter of uh, you know how, how I can how mention big. some some yeah. speakers that we will have if you uh, if we still have time and if you are interested. Oh yeah, no, that you know obviously I'll, I'll be <laughs> I'll be uh, come you know uh, making my trip over with my mobile mm-hmm. uh, studio equipment and uh, be able to do some filming there mm-hmm. and and do some interviews. So yeah, that yeah. would be good stuff. We'll have, actually we'll have, uh, I don't know if you know him, say say Lobo from uh, Rio de Janeiro. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, I don't. Yeah, know yeah, him. He'll, yeah, he will be speaking. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's already for many years uh, involved in in, in cargo bikes, uh, uh, transporte ativo. Yeah. Uh, and we'll have Sam Starr and, and Donnell Harris and oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Kevin Jones, I think, from uh, from Canada. Yeah. Um, yeah, we will we'll have a lot of uh, interesting. Yeah. 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 A, lot, a lot of amazing <laughs> folks uh, there. Yeah. Well, Eos, thank you so very much for joining me on the Active Towns podcast. This has been so much fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And thank you for uh, for having me. And uh, I, uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, I really love what you are doing. So I'm really glad to, to be part of that. And uh, yeah, 
let's uh, keep on keeping on. <laughs> keep on keeping on. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode with Yos. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below and uh, share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Uh, just click on the subscription button down below and right next to it is that bell. Ring that bell to indicate what your notifications preferences might be. And super, super stoked that we got another Patreon supporter uh, this past week. So that brings us to three total for the past two weeks. Uh, hey, every little bit helps and I really do appreciate the support. And don't forget to pop on over to the Active Town store for some fun. Uh, streets are for people, t-shirts and merchandise. Uh, again, every little bit helps and keeps things moving forward uh, for this channel. And uh, I've got another surprise here for you. Um, I have another trip planned. I'm going to be heading back to Colorado in the late August time frame to hit an Open Streets event in Fort Collins and then also sticking around for the Tour de Fat on the 3rd of September. So, announcement time. In that week between the Open Streets event on August 28th and the Tour de Fat, which is on Saturday, September 3rd, I will be visiting Denver, uh, hanging out in Boulder, Colorado, and also Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, looking at some of the infrastructure up there, meeting up with folks. And so, if you'd like to join me for a study tour in Colorado, uh, hit me up as well. So again, that email is john, J-O-H-N, at activetowns.org. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I promise, that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. It's always a pleasure to have you along for the ride. Uh, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Cheers.